Hello everybody, today I have prepared 12 true-false questions and here is the first question. Is it possible for mutations to occur spontaneously and uh, the answer would be true because uh, many mutations occur spontaneously whether uh, is by external force or whether by internal uh, mistakes in the mechanism of uh, replication. So, uh, question two on or statement: uh, only somatic mutations can be passed to offspring, and uh, this is false statement because um, somatic cells are all the cells except uh, germline cells and germline cells would produce gametes and gametes, uh, male gametes would be sperm and female gametes would be egg cell and of course only sperm or egg cell that uh, carry a mutation would cause uh, such a mutation uh, in progeny and not uh, all the other cells like skin cells for example so next question number three an inversion is a type of chromosomal alternation and this is true. Uh, any manipulation with DNA can be considered alteration. Next question number four. A mutation that change uh, cytosine to guanine is transition mutation and this is uh, false because uh, Cytosine belongs to the group uh, of bases that we call uh, pyrimidines and uh, guanine belongs to the group that we call purines. And when we have uh, a change in DNA sequence, purine with purine, we call this transition. And when we have another example, when we have a substitution of um, say pyrimidine with purine or vice versa we call this transversion so next question a nonsense mutation codes for a premature stop codon and this is true because uh, we have uh, three stop codons and uh, total number of codons would be 64 and uh, there are many different mutations that may cause some of the codons that code for the amino acid um, with uh, point mutation to become a stop codon. So this would lead to production of the short version of protein and as usual this would lead uh, to this uh, protein to be non-functional. Uh, question 6 a silent mutation codes for a different amino acid and this is false because we call this uh, silent mutation because such a mutation doesn't change uh, sequence of the amino acid so the same trinucleotide would code for the uh, same or different uh, trinucleotide would code for the same amino acid and this is due to wobble position uh, number three in true nucleotide. Usually it can be um, substituted with different base, for example, cytosine with guanine or zymine or adenine. But still, such three nucleotide would uh, code for the same amino acid because only first two places in true nucleotide uh, as usually code for the special amino acid and the last base uh, is not that important so uh, uh, next question some mutations have no significant effect and uh, as in the above example some point mutations we call silent mutations and they don't have significant effect and also um, imagine that we have uh, another mutation in uh, intron this also as usual doesn't have any effect on the protein or also consider such uh, DNA that we call junk DNA 
if we would have a mutation there, this also wouldn't affect uh, the health and protein production. Those you have to understand that uh, uh, also accept uh, those sequences that code for the proteins. We have uh, many other sequences that lie outside uh, of the uh, protein uh, coded sequences at, and those sequences usually some uh, regulatory sequences that influence uh, how protein would be expressed and produced. So our answer for this question would be true. Next question. Nearly all uh, cancers are caused by mutations in DNA. And this is true. Those, the reasons can be different. Uh, as I mentioned it earlier, reasons can be internal mistakes or it can be x-rays or it could be chemicals that uh, still have to affect the DNA first and then uh, that would lead to uh, cancer. So next question, all cancers need an environmental trigger to develop. And this is not true, this is false, because uh, some of the cancers uh, doesn't need any triggers. Uh, consider such example as um, you might be here uh, about the case of the Angelina Jolie with her double mystopathy uh, when she finds that she has um, oncogen that might lead uh, to such uh, breast cancer in 85% uh, cases, her decision were to remove these tissues. And so she greatly reduced the chances uh, to get this um, disease. And this disease are caused not by environmental factors, but uh, by uh, inheritance. Her mother also had this allele or variant of the gene that caused um, the cancer. So, uh, next question. Proto-oncogenes are abnormal cancer-causing genes. And uh, proto-oncogenes are not abnormal. Proto-oncogenes are normal genes. But when they are abnormal or mutated, they would cause cancer and uh, so what would be the correct answer? We would say this is false because uh, proto-oncogenes are normal genes and they do not cause cancer. But when they mutate, they, they would cause uh, cancers. So proto-oncogenes are normal genes. Uh, usually they regulate uh, cell division and... Uh, also regulate uh, programmed cell death. And when they would have uh, any mutations that would change the regulatory functions, they may cause development of the cancer. So, uh, next question. A cell needs multiple mut mutations to transform to a cancerous cells. And... Um, Actually, we can answer this as, as true and uh, as well as false because some of the uh, cancers uh, can be caused only by single point mutation and uh, in other cases uh, there should be a certain steps when normal cell would become a cancerous. So, um, probably most of the cases would be um, would involve uh, many steps before the um, cell would become cancerous so we would say that this is true those as i said in other cases that can be false and the last question mutations in tumor suppressor genes are generally dominant alleles and this is false because usually we need um, the same mutations to happen in both uh, versions of the gene. Uh, we have two sets of chromosomes, one from the mother side, another from father side. And even if we have one normal allele, 
Usually that's enough uh, to suppress the gene that may cause a cancer. So we went through all the questions and I hope that you were able to answer all of them correctly or now you would be able to answer them correctly if you would find them on your exam. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.